Paul Gauguin will forever be associated with lush, vibrant, colourful images that he captured during several trips to Tahiti. But by the early 1890s, he was back in France, settling in Brittany, where he captured this beautiful, calm, rural scene. So Gauguin, uh, from a very early age, was travelling. He went to Peru at the age of one for about seven years with his mother. He then, at the age of 17, runs away to sea, sails the seas for seven years, and then eventually returns. And he is then a stockbroker for around 11 years. He's first registered as noting himself as an artist at the age of 35. So by the early 1890s, he'd already been traveling to Panama, Martinique, uh, Tahiti, and returns to France and creates this work. This is Brittany, then, is it? Yes, yeah, so this is the town of pont Avon, which was an artist colony. It's kind of his haven, his, his Eden, where he retreated from Paris. You know, he really enjoyed his time there. This is definitely a view that he would have seen very frequently walking around and we see a lot of paintings from this time as well, referencing very similar motifs, the church, this very common house. We know that Gauguin, on his first trip to Pont Aven in 1886, never really left a 300 yard radius of the inn where he was staying, the Pension Gloenec, famously remarking not on the picturesqueness of Brittany, but of the quality and quantity of food at the inn where he was staying. <laughs> so it's likely that this work is within that 300 yard radius of his favorite inn. He had his priorities set, didn't he? He definitely did. And what are we looking at here? Is it a watercolour? Is it a drawing? So this is a watercolour monotype. No one's exactly sure on how Gauguin created his monotypes. He's experimenting. I mean, he really is a trailblazer in that respect. So you've opened up the frame, Fred, taken out the monotype, and all is revealed. So this is the print that Gauguin reused, recycled. That's right, this is a section of uh, a poster by Camille Martin, a lithograph for L'Estomp Original. It was a series of periodical print published quarterly containing works by many of the famous artists of the time. And it just goes to show the immediacy of Gauguin's working method. So was it always known that he had flipped this lithograph over and reused it? We actually discovered this whilst the work was in our possession. We were advised to have the work removed from the backing board, and so our restorer did so and made this amazing discovery, which in turn led to the discovery of everything and his working method on these lithographs, uncovering other works, other monotypes on a similar background. So there we have it, a rare piece, a monotype by one of the real mavericks of art history sailor, stockbroker, artist, Paul Gauguin.